Assholes, in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the GHD Platinum Plus Flat Iron. So this is the GHD, okay, my dog. <laughs> this is the GHD Platinum Plus Flat Iron. First, before we, okay, before we get into the demonstration of this flat iron and my final review, we're first gonna get into the specifications. Now this is a Best of Beauty Allure Award winner. I got the GHD Platinum Plus Styler in white, and this is what it looks like. They come in a variety of different colors, and I also think they just have the GHD Platinum. This one retails for about $250. You can get it at Sephora, or you can get it on the actual website. I also think you can get it at Ulta. Now the description of this flat iron is pretty lengthy, so I'm gonna just try to summarize it for you guys. This is supposed to be like one of the healthiest flat irons for your hair. It has a special technology in it so that as it passes through each strand of your hair, the flat iron changes according to what your hair needs. So for example, if your hair needs a little more heat or straightening, it might bump it up to the highest heat setting, whereas if your hair doesn't need that much straightening, like for example, if you're passing through it a second time, it might change like the heat settings or whatnot to basically Whatever that strand of hair needs, the flat iron is going to change and be suited for that specific strand of hair. Another special thing about this flat iron is that it only reaches 365 degrees yet at the same time delivers similar results to a flat iron that would reach up to like maybe 450 degrees. The fact that this flat iron is so healthy and good on your hair, it ends up giving you stronger, healthier hair in the future. Lastly, a few more things. It's supposed to add 20% more shine to your hair and also add heat protection. Another thing is that it will help to give you curls and waves because of the way the flat iron is shaped. You can easily achieve a nice curl or a nice wave and lastly it's able to automatically turn off by itself so you don't have to worry about having your flat iron stay on as you like leave the house or in case you forget it lastly just comes with this heat protection guard that easily slides over the iron oh my gosh my dog is so chill back there he looks so comfortable right now Oh my gosh, I have to take a picture of this. All right, we got into the specifications of this flat iron. Let's go ahead and demonstrate it. And then we're going to end the video with my final review. Let's see, how do I turn you on? I had to press the red button on the cord. Oh, okay. So that means that it turns on. So we have a straightener that talks to us. That's cool. Oh, I guess that means it's ready. Make sure your hair is completely dry. The extra protection, which I have to protect over here, it's all about suction. Don't squeeze too tightly, it says. Take your time, as if you were brushing it. Keep the styler super straight for a modern sharp finish and turn under for a softer finish. We're going to do section by section. So I'm going to start off with the back part of my hair. Okay, our first piece of hair. I can feel a lot of heat right now coming from the flat iron. It is very smooth when it glides on your hair. And that is one pass. It's adding a lot of shine. I'm really liking that so far. And then I'm going to go in and curl it. This really does look like it's going to be, it looks like it's meant for curling and adding waves, so I'm going to do that. Whoa! Alright, I got a tight curl here, it'll probably loosen up as we go by. So far I'm loving... I'm loving how shiny it makes my hair. Okay, and also it did get it pretty straight, so even though it is at 365 degrees, I don't see that as being an issue because 
it looks just as straight as if I were to use 400 degrees. There's no nagging or pulling of my hair at all. It's just very smooth. And yeah, it does leave your hair quite hot as well. Now I just want to see what it looks like straight. Yeah, that is pretty much as straight as I can get my hair. <laughs> or thin, as I should say. That's as thin as my hair can get, pretty much. And when I curl, I do have to hold these two uh, pieces right here, so it's nice that my hair won't, or that my fingers won't burn a little bit from doing that. I don't know what I did here. I curled the wrong way, but it should be okay. Okay, now let me brush my hair out. Because these curls are a lot tighter than I wanted. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm looking for is a wave. And I like it. Surprisingly, it's very hot. And there's a lot of steam coming off. Which I heard that you're not supposed to have steam come off from your hair. So I don't really understand where that's coming from. But surprisingly, it gets very hot even though it is 365 degrees. So I don't really know... How that works. And then we're gonna curl. Okay, wait, the curl I think kind of messed up. That's crazy. I love the shape of this. It's so easy to curl your hair. And I'm pretty much gonna use this when I want to curl my hair, otherwise, I'll use my dry bar. But so far the few things that I'm loving about it is how it's e easy just to curl. I love how I can... Oh, actually, they are getting hot now. I don't know why. The, the iron just got a lot hotter. So yeah, you actually can't put your fingers on here for too long. It's not that hot, especially the very tips are not hot. But up here, it is hot. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, it feels like the iron has gotten a lot hotter as I'm doing my hair, which is interesting. Maybe it's kind of catering to my hair and readjusting the temperature, I'm not sure. And as you can see, I only have to go through my hair two times, which is crazy because with my other iron, I would set it at like 400 degrees. Um, I only needed to go through it two times, but if I had set it at like 365, I would imagine that um, I would imagine that I have to go in it at least three times. Okay. Um, how, what the heck, okay. Yeah, I have absolutely no complaints so far. I was a little worried, honestly, that my hair wasn't going to get that straight or thin, I should say. There's probably another word for that. But yeah, I was concerned that my hair wasn't going to get as flat and straight with just 365 and that I might have to return it. But this is exactly how my hair would look if I had used my um, regular flat iron that goes all the way up to, I think, like 465 and it's also so much shinier like so much shinier than shinier than my other one um how it feels it doesn't feel that smooth maybe because my hair is more on the drier side right now um so yeah that's what we got so far i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my hair and then i might slow down when i get towards the bang areas okay i'm just now going in finishing up the second layer of my hair and what I'm noticing is that you can kind of control what kind of wave you want with this iron it's pretty similar to if you're using curling curling iron you can get a loose wave or a tight wave so on this side I'm noticing that I was doing tighter waves curls whereas this side sorry wait did, did I do this section over here? Yeah, well, it kind of looked like it didn't do it for a second. I think I'm going to go in with another. Did I do this part right here? I think I just did. 
because this side looks so different and shinier than this side. Okay, well, I'm going to go it again, I guess. It looks like I didn't, no, I did straighten this part. So on this side, I did much looser waves, but for some reason, it looks, I don't know, I'm gonna have to go and straighten this again, because it doesn't look like I straightened it. Also, it gets to the roots it gets right in there, so if you have an issue with that, um, it does help. If you have if your roots are very, very curly, I think there is a little bit of a distance right here, so it's not gonna get right, right in there. But it does get. I wish I could show you guys. So here is the root part. It does get in there pretty well, but you will have a little distance from the plate and the outside of the iron, so it might not get too deep in there. And then we're just going to curl this out. So yeah, I feel like you have a lot of control over what kind of curl you want to have. And I don't feel like I have to keep it on my hair for too long like I do with some other irons. Even though it does say to take your time, even if I do speed up a little bit, I feel like it doesn't make a huge difference in how straight or how wavy it gets my hair. I also feel like with this straightener, well, I did use my Dyson hair dryer beforehand, but I do feel like I'm straightening my hair a lot faster than if I were to use my other hair straightener. Now you can't keep it on your roots for too long because it gets too hot. I gets it pretty straight. Okay, so this is the result of my hair. Let me just zhuzh it up a little bit. First of all, it feels amazing. Um, my hair, I think, my hair is a little bit more on the drier side, but this feels great. It feels smooth. Obviously, it would be smoother if my hair wasn't in a dry state right at the moment. <laughs> um, the shine is amazing. It's very nice when you use it. It feels so comfortable in the hand. It definitely helps that it's it looks white and, I guess, chic and classy. It also just feels nice when you're using it on your hair. It feels so smooth. It's one of it. It is the smoothest feeling hair flat iron that I have ever tried and because it's it felt so smooth when it would glide through my hair and because it would straighten it so fast I felt I feel like this is going to be healthier on my hair and I also feel like I'm not so scared to go in maybe a third or fourth time to perfect certain areas whereas with my other flat iron I kind of felt like okay I need to hurry up and get this off my hair to prevent any future damage but for some reason I don't feel that way with this iron maybe since it does say that on each strand it kind of um, adapts to what your hair needs at the moment so maybe when I do go and fix up my hair after it's already straight it's probably like controlling the temperature and making it less hot um, since my hair is already straight I'm not sh I'm pretty sure that is what's happening and so all in all it does feel healthier on my hair obviously but we'll have to wait to see um, but even now after using it it looks so much healthier compared to the other straightening irons I've used obviously if you're buying this it's something that you're using on a weekly bi-weekly basis so to invest a little money in products that you're going to be using for years on a weekly basis I think it's worth the investment. I think that is all I have to say about this flat iron. I am really happy. It's super exceeded my expectations and that is all I have to say for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know how I'm doing and I just can't stop looking at my hair and touching it. Um, yeah, but anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know how I'm doing. And also don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more content like this in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in another video.
I hope. <laughs> okay, bye.